Backstroke, breaststroke, fly and free. RPC, Australia, Spain, Great Britain, United States, Canada and China go. And that is exactly it. That is part of the reason you can't really call a race until it is done because RPC, for example, are going out with Anastasia Gonter and uh, Elisaveta Sidorenko, who's an SB9 swimmer. So you've got your two highest pointers going out. Australia, Ellie Cole in S9 and Kira Stevens in SB9. While the likes of Canada are going out with uh, an S6, so to Jiang Yuyan, the world record holder, but in S6. So this is going to be very, very challenging to accurately say who is in front at any given point. Yeah, exactly. Right now, Hannah Aspinen from the United States is out in front. We knew she would do this. She won the gold medal in the 100 meter backstroke. So no surprise. She's right now, her job is to establish as much of a lead as possible in this backstroke leg. She's an S9. That means they have some other classifications to go, some of them lower. It's harder for the lower classifications to keep up with the higher ones. So into the uh, backstroke leg here. It is done and going away very nicely after Aspen's opening leg. Into the breaststroke we go and then it'll be fly and free. So. Maisie Summers-Newton is in the pool for Great Britain after Steph Millwood's uh, lead-out leg. Uh, sitting at the front, Spain find themselves with uh, Sarai Gascon swimming the uh, breaststroke. And indeed, Australia with Kira Stevens going breaststroke. All behind RPC, we've got Elisabetta Sidorenko, but they are going to finish with an S8 in Ischulova and Ani Palian, who's an S7. So RPC need a big lead if they are to hold on for a middle place. Yeah, exactly. The United States, you see, fading a little bit here to the background with RPC really taking this in the breaststroke. But another one not to discount is Sarai Gascon. She's got that unbelievable finishing speed, which we've seen time and time again. And right now, Gascon appears to be making up some time on RPC. So Gascon is making up time, and she's gone beyond Australia's Kira Stevens. Very good swim here from uh, Sarai Gascon, RPC. Might not be touching first at the uh, wall at the 200 meter mark in the 4x100 medley relay. 34 points, which adds uh, an additional but certainly intriguing complication into the mix. So Spain ahead of RPC, Australia touch third quickest, and the United States. Into the pool goes Jessica Long for the United States. Now, right now, Fly looking very good for Spain. She needs to continue to extend this lead because Spain is ending with Teresa Perales, who is an S5. There's no way Perales is going to be able to keep up with the rest of the swimmers in this field. So she needs as much of a lead as possible. But here comes Jessica Long from the United States with that perfect stroke every step of the way. She doesn't get much off the wall, but when she's in the pool, she is stupendous this is isabel hernandez s10 swimmer she is leading at the moment as she's ahead of emily beecroft of australia rpc fading just a little bit it's a very good leg by victoria shula but she's not had too much of an advantage carved out of uh, the lead that rpc had late on in that second leg this is a good comeback from beecroft here who might very well touch ahead of the Spaniard Hernandez, who's fading in the closing stages. Indeed, Spain through Teresa Perales into the water she goes, but as an S5 swimmer, not going to be able to compete. Long touches, and into the uh, water goes Morgan Stickney of the United States, the, the freestyle 400 meter champion. So we're going to see the United States in all likelihood streak here into a big lead. Isabel Vincent is in the water for Australia. RPC's Annie Pallion in S7 and S5 for Spain in Teresa Perales. That's going to be Stickney who is already passing Teresa Perales and should catch up on both the S7 swimmers in one and two. Yeah, she should. And Stickney, she's having an excellent leg right now. She doesn't really get anything off the wall, but here comes Stickney's unbelievable closing power. We saw her right zoom right past Jessica Long during the 400 freestyle, and now she appears to be chasing down the other two swimmers. Well, this is a very good finish and a strong leg from Annie Pallian of RPC, who is going to keep the uh, RPC in medal contention here, only just ahead of Australia. While she's been out of the medal, she looks like she's going to hold on 
in the RPC League. This is a great final swim as well from Great Britain through Zara Maluli. But touching first, the United States take gold. It's a sprint for the line between Australia and RPC. It is Australia just missing out. RPC. Ani Pallian, how good was that final leg in just keeping Australia and Isabella Vincent at bay? A wonderful battle between the two. The United States, they looked like they were going to take it from the earliest stages. Great Britain, final swim from Zara Maluli took uh, Great Britain from almost nowhere onto the verge of a medal. But USA, 452-40, they are the champions. Coming home now, Canada find themselves courtesy of Abby Tripp, the S8 swimmer, who is bringing it home for Canada. She only swam the 100 breaststroke here at her second Paralympic Games, but in this, she's going to be bringing it home. Somebody who wants to become a swimming coach once her competitive days are behind her. 4.52.40, it's not the fastest time, but times really do not matter. It is as long as you have a time that is faster than anybody else. That Palian leg to hold off Australia through uh, Isabella Vincent. That was a special final leg swim and an emotional moment for Palian in the pool. And recognized for her performance for Isabella Vincent. She kept Australia in the medals, the 15-year-old. Now, there's always going to be a discussion when it comes to uh, the relays. Let's take a look at the race as it was while the uh, officials discuss the results. Now, no surprise here. Hannah Aspen from the United States, she did her job. She went out very quickly, put in a solid backstroke leg to give the handoff to Jenkins, who went in for the breaststroke. Now, Jenkins, she lost quite a bit of ground to Australia, Spain, and the Russian Paralympic Committee. You see these breaststrokers go right ahead. Gascon with that amazing breaststroke. And such a... She, Gascon, every time, I'm always talking about what a great finisher is. It, finisher she is, and she did it again. And now into the butterfly leg, the handoff to all three swimmers. Again, they did their job. Teresa Perales going in for Spain, though, as an S5. She just couldn't keep pace with the rest of the other swimmers, and this is what happens. And then Stickney with this amazing freestyle leg, every her closing speed, wow. I mean, she chased down every other swimmer that was before her in the pool, and she gave them such a strong freestyle leg. They came home well. The United States should be very happy with this, sw this swim, and you can see it all over their faces, especially after the DQ in the freestyle relay. Indeed, the, uh, the DQ in the 4x100 freestyle relay and the United States have just seen the official results. Jessica Long has gold medal number 15 of her Paralympic Games career and medal number 28. It's a swimmer who's uh, for the longest time been part of the elite in para sports. On top of the world, disqualifications for Canada and People's Republic of China. Both those teams were under points. Incidentally, Spain finished fifth, 504.58. Teresa Perales uh, closing it all off. Great Britain, Suzara Maluli nearly came back into the medals. But Australia and RPC separated by 15 hundredths for uh, silver and bronze. While United States of America are gold medalists. Jessica Long, a 15-time Paralympic Games gold medalist. <laughs> celebrations. Michaela Jenkins really had a fantastic leg, did uh, Michaela Jenkins and Hannah Aston, Jessica Long and Morgan Stickney.